Welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how I transformed my $500 CB Avenger into something that actually looks pretty good for a minimal amount of effort. Now, I am going to offend some of you because some of you have paid a lot of money to have your paint corrected and then you paid even more money to have your car ceramic coated. Forewarning, I'm probably going to make fun of you, but this is how I got this thing looking really good without spending much money at all and minimal amount of time. I have less than three hours into getting this thing looking like this. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now and then we're gonna hop back to where I started. All right, it's next morning. I just wanna show you guys what I was doing last night. So there was some like hard adhesive and some damage, just a little bit of flaws on the boat. One of the reasons I really like restoring boats is they're way more simple than a car. You don't have suspension, you don't have brakes, you don't really have rust. The only thing you gotta worry about is rot. And then the finish itself, the gel coat is actually really durable and it's really easy to bring back to life. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that. What you wanna start with is you wanna wash it, just get it really clean. And then I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's gonna be some brighter spots on the, the, the white part of the hull here. And what I was doing was using about 600 grit sandpaper and just lightly sanding the uh, hardened adhesive. It looked like it was like 20 year old duct tape adhesive or some something. I'm not really sure what it is, but point is I sanded it out. Now I'm just going to use some other sandpaper. I've got some stuff from a thousand to 1500 and a little sanding block. Really like these 3M ones. The other thing I'm gonna be using from 3M is this stuff. This is called 3M Perfected. I use this on all my vehicles. I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm just telling you guys what I'm using. This is expensive. It's like 40 to $60 for a bottle of it, but it's a ton of it. It's pro grade stuff. Not to go on like too much of a segue here, but the detailing industry is just a bunch of marketing bullshit and scams and they're just, overcharging you for less product and rebranding things. Don't, don't even get me started on ceramic coatings, boys. That is a total sham. There is nothing ceramic about those coatings. It's just paint sealant, which has been around for decades and they rebranded it and charged four times as much. Um, we're gonna bring this back to life just by wet sanding a couple spots here. I'm gonna show you my process and then we're gonna be buffing the whole thing with a Harbor Freight buffer and then a Harbor Freight three inch pneumatic buffer. Why am I doing this? Uh, we're planning on putting this on the water today and I want this thing to look as good as possible. And after I had it wet last night, the colors just started to pop and I'm like, oh man, I gotta polish this. What's really cool about these older boats is this isn't paint, this is all in the gel coat. So you're gonna see that it just kinda gets this white chalkiness to the color. And that's the top layer of the gel coat just getting oxidized. So we're just gonna remove that with a buffer and then I'm probably gonna seal it with a paint sealant, not a ceramic coating, because they're BS, um, when I finish. So let's, uh, let's pitter patter. So this is a really good example of what I was trying to get rid of last night. It's like really stuck on there. I tried using Goo Gone, wouldn't come out. So I've just got like a 600 grit foam sanding pad here. Another trick that scam artists, I mean auto detailing specialists do, is they do the before after with a tape line. So they say like, oh this looks so bad and then look right next to it, it looks so beautiful. That's actually like not a scam. It does look better, but it's really easy to do. I'm going to show you how long this takes. All right, you ready to see what that looks like up close, what they put on Instagram? We'll see how cool it looks. Ugh. 
Oh wow, the nanotechnology of the cyborg molecules really chemically bonded with the gel coat to create a barrier of bullshit that you're gonna spend $60 on a tiny little bottle and pay some dude who had barely any training to do this, like two grand? Really dudes? Don't do it. I guess the reason that this irritates me is that if this used to be just called a cut and buff. You used to use a mild abrasive and a buffer and that was like, mm, two or three hundred dollars anywhere and they would just polish your car out. Now, they did the exact same thing, only they now call it paint correction. So they took cut and buff, changed it to paint correction, and they went from $300 to about $1,500 to $2,000 for paint correction. But it's really not hard to do. You just basically wet sand any flaws and then you just buff it with a buffer. You just don't lean on it. I, I don't get it. I mean, I guess if you're doing like really high dollar cars and you really don't want to mess it up, because it would cost, you know, it could ruin your potential investment. Sure, but for like a normal daily driver, it just, I, I think you guys are getting ripped off and you people who are detailers out there, shame. So we're gonna do half the boat and we're gonna leave the other half of the boat just to show you guys the before and after. All right, I'm about 10 minutes into this process and I just wanna show you guys how incredibly easy it is and what a difference it made. So I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but I did not buff that side and then this side I did. And it's like the colors and the highlights are just nuts on this side and they just look dull and crappy on that side. See the difference there? No highlights at all. Bam, highlights. And the white looks brighter, the colors look cooler. It just looks so much better. It's a little bit of a highlight on this side. Then you can actually see the house. See the difference there? That took 10 minutes, dudes. Why are people paying $2,000 for this? I don't understand it and the answer is marketing. <laughs> All right, so here's a piece of resin from I don't know when. We're gonna try to just knock it off with a mallet and a screwdriver. There we go. Just gonna sand that a little bit and it should polish right out. All right, so it figures as soon as I start trashing a uh, professional detail or something like this happens, but yeah, this can happen to you if you're not a professional. Totally hit the uh, airline with a buffer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Is this perfect? No, there's a bunch of cracks in the gel coat, but it's good enough for me. And once you put it on the water, you're not gonna see any of this. What I'm gonna do instead of using some overpriced ceramic marketing crap, is I'm gonna use this stuff. It's called Class. It's from Germany and it was developed by the aviation industry. Again, not sponsored, but a big ass bottle, like 16 ounces, is about 25 bucks on Amazon. It goes forever. You can get this stuff, which is a glaze, which just makes it shinier. They also have some stuff called an AIO, which is all in one. That's got a little bit of polish in it. I actually prefer that one, but I'm out right now. So if you've ever put on rain -X, it's the same kind of deal. You just wipe it on, it hazes up, and then you wipe it off, that's it. It forms a chemical bond to the paint, it's paint sealant. What I was thinking about actually, if I had like no moral compass, was buying a bunch of this stuff and putting it in really small bottles and charging like $60 a bottle, putting some pseudoscience behind the name and be like Ceramo Coat or something. And you know, that's how these companies exist. They literally have rebranded paint sealants as some new thing, and they're not new. Now, is there stuff that's better than class? Probably, but just like this boat, in terms of smiles per dollar spent, this is 20 bucks and it works amazing. I've put it on all my dailies. This is the van. The van is all classed up. I mean, I leave this outside. It gets a little dirty, but it stays pretty clean. So just saying, don't get ripped off by detailing. So we're gonna put on this class stuff. Now, that'll just help seal the gel coat, because right now 
it still is a porous surface, so is your paint. And this should fill in all those pores basically and seal it off so that it should stay cleaner and be shinier. So let's do it. All right, there you go, boys. Finished up. It's polished, it's sealed. It looks pretty freaking good. Watch this. See how slippery that is? That means that you should pay me like $3,000 to spend a couple hours buffing your car and putting on some class. Don't fall for it, dudes. You can do this and like, this took me two hours. Even if it takes you four, break down the hourly rate that those dudes are charging. I mean, you're paying more for some dude with no formal training per hour than like a licensed plumber or electrician or a master mechanic. You're, you're literally paying them like two to $300 an hour or more for something you can do yourself in a Saturday morning or something like that. It's crazy to me, so stop it. These are just temporarily mounted. I threw them in there because I really want to get this thing on the water and see what it does, which is going to be our next video. I'm actually about to go on the water right now. I just wanted to finish this one up before we hit the water in case it sinks. It looks really good right now, um, but I've never driven this thing and I don't even know if it's going to get on plane. We'll see what happens. It ran a little weird in the driveway, so stay tuned for that next video. Hope you guys learned something. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. All right, cheers dudes.